Good day, good day. This tutorial really explain to you the meaning of dy dx. Sometimes a question we put like dw dt. All right. So I'm going to explain to you what dy dx really means. Okay. dy dx. When we take, we get d of x and this is an operator it's an operator and the name of this operator is called the differential operator differential operator and differential operator is used to differentiate function okay it's more like arithmetic operator you have arithmetic operators like addition, you have subtraction, you have multiplication, and division. All right. So this one too is an operator d over dx or d to the any variable respect to is an operator. And today this operator is going to work so many functions. All right. When we take a function like y, y of x equal to x cubed plus 2x squared plus 5. This is a basic question we can have. So our y is the main function and we call it the dependent variable. Alright, our x, any of x here, is another variable, and we call it the independent variable. Then the 5 is called constant. 5 is constant because it's not attached to any variable, so it's constant. If it were any ticket like 20, 25, 30 to any number, it's still a constant because it's not attached to any variable. All right. So when you say dependent variable, dependent variable, this is a dependent variable and it depends on X to find its values. And X is independent value. It doesn't depend on any variables but it helps to find for values of what y and 5 is a constant because it's not attached to any variable precise it's not attached to the independent variable okay so this question can be differentiated this function can be differentiated okay so when you differentiate this function it will be difference of y with respect to x. So our x square x cube plus 2x square plus 5. And this one is a power rule. We use the power rule. So we differentiate x cube, it gives us 3x square plus 4x and when differentiate a constant it gives us what zero so plus zero the whole equation gives us 3x squared plus 4x okay what i really want you to understand is sometimes you can differentiate with respect to x sometimes you can differentiate with respect to y and i said 5 is a constant because it's not attached to the independent variable. Okay, so if here were attached to 5t, it still becomes the word a constant because it's not attached to x. A function can be differentiated or a variable can be differentiated if it's attached to what the independent variable. And since 5t, t is not the variable differentiating respect to it's still a what a constant but when we take a question like 
question like um let me say w is equal to 2y plus 3y square plus x y and the question says we should differentiate with respect to y with respect to y this means this around y is not the independent variable so whatever year if it is not attached to y it's a constant so two year is not attached to y it's a constant okay and you are differentiating with respect to what y so dw w because it's now the main function we are what to you are about to find the variables and w is the dependent variable so w d y because it's respect to what y this one is 2y plus 3y square plus xy plus 2 when you differentiate 2y it gives us what 2 plus when you differentiate 3y square see if you don't understand how we differentiate this one you have to go back to my previous tutorials and check how we solve the power rule because this one is a power rule all right 3xy square give us 6y plus this one xy x is a constant so we are only differentiating y and when you differentiate xy you take this one as one you take this one as two you take this one as anything like three and you're differentiating three y give us three like when you're differentiating two y it gives us two so when you're differentiating x y it gives us what x plus and i said when differentiating any number without the variable it gives us what zero because we classify it as constant so plus two give us what zero this is the final answer thank you thank you for watching